Hi and welcome to another Strelok C++ tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is the second part of the tutorial on inheritance. So um, in the last tutorial we just made a simple, um, two simple classes, class animal and class dog which uh, was inherited from the animal class and I'm gonna make some edits to them so well here I'm gonna put an int integer weight um, uh, yeah that, that's it pretty much and here I'm gonna put an int weight equals two uh, well let for default we'll both set both to zero so I made it um, the de default number of feet and here int feet int weight and once again we'll set the default so zero zero string breed and uh, dog weight equals weight and once again feet and weight are inherited from inherited uh, so uh, here we put animal weight equals weight now one more thing before we move on uh, class dog this inheritance right now will not work why because we need um, a keyword public here uh, I'm not really sure actually what the public stands for. I have, I think that it means that um, the class dog inherits all the public and the protected members of the class animal. Uh, that's my guess, but you you can definitely look it up, and I'm sure that someone will tell you. So, uh, class dog is inherited from public animal, and. Um, so now we're we're pretty much set uh, now we have to specify this is the number of legs so four and uh, say the weight is 15 and here the weight is 20 doesn't doesn't matter so uh, let's rerun this again and just check that to see if there's n any errors so animal moved the step stallion barks so uh, my dog stallion barked and that's good so now since we know that uh, the class dog inherits all of the members of class animal that means that uh, the, the class dog inherited the ability to move um, which was in stallion so we will uh, write my dog move look at that animal moved a step why because my dog inherits those members so it can do whatever this whatever animal can do but it doesn't work the other way around so this is important to uh, understand another thing uh, that we're so this is very simple but um, so the dog can bark and um, the animal can move this is vital to understand another uh, feature of inheritance is if we put virtual here so now this becomes a virtual function so uh, in when you inherit it uh, actually when we run this again nothing will change because the keyword virtual just means that you can override this function um, well pretty much it's it's not it's virtual so mm, here um, it it is inherited by all of the members but um, you you should set it uh, set this function if you're gonna override it in the uh, inherited class so here I can say void move as pertaining to a dog so right and now I'm overriding this function you may get a compiler warning that you're overriding a function and I say see out breed moves 
moved a step. And so now if we run the same program again, um, stallion bark stallion moved a step. So uh, we have just declared in uh, dog, which is inherited from the public animal, we have overwritten the virtual function move. And uh, now when we say uh, my dog move, it um, refers to the, mm, to the dog this function. Now, what about if we wanted, if we wrote this, and then we wanted to make the dog move as an animal? Well, let's try uh, my dog animal move. How about this? So my dog, and uh, we will try to make him move like an animal. So now, if we run this program, we see that uh, by using the animal uh, scope resolution operator, we said that uh, animal moved a step. So you can do that too in inheritance. And uh, let's see if it works only with a scope resolution operator. Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't work. So you have to put the actual class uh, that you're making it. So animal moved a step. This is the 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 whole purpose of virtual functions is that you can uh, pretty much overwrite in the uh, derived classes. You can overwrite. Uh, the functions and it's recommended to put the virtual keyword there if we put if we just put void move um, Pretty much the same thing will happen. It will override the function, but uh, It's recommended that you put virtual in there be just well first of all so that um, You yourself know that this is going to be overwritten and uh, second of all uh it it it's important in, in when we get into more in depth uh, inheritance but so this is basically a primer on virtual functions and uh yeah inheritance so uh how to overwrite functions and uh if we don't overwrite them once again my my dog moves and we get the first one so animal moves a step if we write our own function move, we can overwrite uh, from the parent class. We can overwrite their function. We can do pretty much anything, and it's it's really cool. So that's the uh, basic primer 